Welcome to the first in a series of instructional videos guiding you through successful installation and commissioning of the SolarEdge Energy Bank on a floor mounting stand. In this series, we will guide you through how to install and commission SolarEdge's Energy Bank from A to Z. In this video, you'll learn how to safely unpack and install the SolarEdge Energy Bank with the floor mounting stand. Before we begin, please be advised that only properly trained technicians and SolarEdge certified personnel are allowed to install the SolarEdge Energy Bank. It is also essential that you read the battery installation guide as well as all warnings and caution notes located on the battery before starting the process. Prepare the installation tools. Note that the tools and cables necessary for the installation must be provided by the installer. Additional tools required for the installation can be purchased from SolarEdge. Let's quickly review what's included in the SolarEdge Energy Bank packaging. The battery, the battery cover, the bracket, the conduit holder, two MC4 connectors, two sets of two screws, an installation guide, a fire extinguisher, and its dedicated screws. Now, let's review what's included in the SolarEdge Energy Bank floor mounting kit. A back holder, a base mount, a front cover, an installation guide, M8 nuts, M5 screws, a wiring sleeve, wall brackets, floor stand connectors, and lastly, the side brackets. We're now ready to start. Our first step is to determine a suitable location for the battery installation, one that can withstand the weight of the battery and also takes into account local safety regulations and building codes. The SolarEdge Energy Bank is both indoor and outdoor rated. If installed outdoors, we advise to keep it away from direct sunlight and extreme temperatures. Also, note the required clearance between the battery and other objects on the wall. Now, go ahead and remove the external packaging. Start by cutting the zip ties and removing the package cover. Then, remove the battery cover and place it in a safe location to avoid damaging the cover. Next, take the cushion and place it aside. Then, take the wall mounting bracket and supplied screws out of the box. Now, let's install the floor mounting stand. Move and position the base mount close to the wall to which it will be secured, and so the front of the base is parallel to and facing away from the wall. Note the maximum supported inclination depends on how many batteries are installed in a bank. Lower the back holder over the four connecting studs located at the rear of the base. Loosely screw the nuts onto each of the back holder and base studs to hold the back holder in place. Adjust the base mount's legs so the base mount is leveled. Now, fully tighten the nuts to finally secure the back holder. Next, position the mounting bracket on the securing studs of the back holder so its front is facing you. Loosely screw the nut onto each of the four back holder studs to hold the battery mounting bracket in place. Then, fully tighten the nuts to finally secure the mounting bracket. Next, Connect the wall brackets to the mounting bracket lower slot using one of the short M5 screws. Mark the drilling hole on the wall. If floor securing is required, insert a floor connector bracket between the bracket securing nut and the foot of each leg and mark the drilling holes on the floor. Remove the floor mounting stand and drill the holes on the wall and on the floor. Place the floor mounting stand and attach the wall bracket to the wall. Now, place a dolly with lifting capabilities in front of the battery package so the black rubber strip faces the dolly. Then, lock the dolly's wheels. Do not remove the black rubber strip until the battery is fully positioned. Make sure that the battery circuit breaker is in the off state. Next, remove the fire extinguisher located below the battery. Then, scan the QR code on the sticker to access the fire extinguisher quick guide. Straighten the fire extinguisher's security pin and then pull it out. Now, remove the sticker from the upper part of the battery and gently insert the fire extinguisher into its correct position, ensuring that it can slide through the leaders. To complete the fire extinguisher installation, 
fully tighten the 7M5 screws supplied in the package. Attach four lifting handles to the top and bottom handle screw threads. Note that the handles can be reused for future battery installations. For added convenience, we've provided additional handle screw threads and holes to insert lifting straps. Hold the battery from the handles and place it onto the dolly. Cushion the battery and secure it to the dolly using ratchets or other securing straps. In addition, you can put a piece of cardboard under the battery and slide the battery into place on the dolly. Now, unlock the dolly's wheels. Move the dolly forward until the battery is ready to engage with the mounting bracket. Once you've removed the ratchets, place the dolly adjacent to the floor mounting and carefully adjust the height of the dolly. Hang the battery on the mounting bracket. Make sure to mount the battery simultaneously onto the upper and lower edges of the bracket. You may now remove the lift and detach the handles. Loosely insert the long M5 wall bracket securing screw in the upper wall bracket slot on each side. Now, tighten the screws. Recheck that the stand is level, and if necessary, fine-tune the height of the legs until leveled. If floor securing is required, place the floor connector brackets and position them over the drilled hole. Secure the stand to the floor, and then also tighten the bracket securing nuts on each leg. As you can see, the battery is now safely mounted on the wall bracket. Note that the battery cover should be attached once wiring is completed. We'll guide you how to do that in the wiring video. Join us for the next video in this series, where we will guide you step by step through the SolarEdge Energy Bank wiring and additional floor mount stand installation.